Hey everybody, today I want to show you guys a quick tutorial for how to get the T-Launcher up and running for Minecraft on your Steam Deck. The first thing that we're going to do here is go to the T-Launcher website, then we're going to come on down here to download TL, we're going to click on the Linux button and get that started. Come over here to Java Downloads on the Oracle page, come here to JDK 17, come on down here to the compressed archive version, and then we're going to download that link there. So once those two things have downloaded, we're going to open up the zip file here for JDK as well as the T-Launcher. The JDK folder, we're going to just drag that into our download folder because this is where I usually install everything. I'm not going to overwrite it online because I already have it there. So the next thing that I will be dragging in there is the T Launcher folder. So I'll drag that into my downloads folder there. Come on down here to my T Launcher folder that I just dragged in there. And we'll see the .jar file. Make sure that's there. We'll open up our Steam library next. We'll go to add a game on the bottom left. Say add a non-Steam game. Go to browse. And then we will go to our downloads folder and then we will look for that t launcher folder that we just dropped in there and then you'll see the filter applications here and we're going to go to all files there and we're going to see our dot jar file so we're going to open that and then we're going to see that checkbox there and then we're going to say add selected programs once that has been done we are going to go to properties on that file and we're going to change our target and start in locations so the target location is first going to be our JDK folder that we had dropped in there. We're going to open that, and then we're going to open our bin folder next. And then we're going to take the Java file. We're going to click on that. We're going to right click, and we're going to say copy location. So once we have copied that location, we're going to come back over here, and we're going to paste that into our target. And then what next we're going to do is we're going to add a space, and then say dash J A R. Okay, make sure that says that. And then the next thing that we will do here is add another space because we will copy in another location. And so that will be our T launcher location. So we'll come back here to our downloads folder and then we'll go back here to our T launcher folder right there. And then we are going to click on that dot jar file there. Then we're going to right click and then we're going to say copy location for that. Then after that space of the jar, we're going to right click and say paste. And then we should see this string here. <clears throat> so after that string is there, we're going to highlight that whole one there, and we're going to copy that. And we're just going to paste that same exact thing there into our starting. So once that has been done, actually, we're going to go to the compatibility tab next. And then make sure your force use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool is checkboxed. Then we're going to select the Proton version that we want. I have the 9-5 version here. I'm going to close that out. And so everything should be good now to boot up. And so we're going to make sure that .jar file is there. Just want to double check everything. Yep. Okay, and good to go. And we should be able to hit play and get it running now. Let's see if that comes up here. And then so this is warning is going to come up. You can just click OK. That's no problem. And so after you clicked OK, then you can hit the uh, play button again for the T launcher and that should boot correctly now. And there we go. So awesome. So I have my name that I put in there. You can put your name in there as well. You're going to select your release version as well or whatever version you want. And then instead of enter the game, you're going to see download and pretty much just click on download and it'll download and then you'll see enter game and enter the game and it should be that easy. So the version has been updated on this server. So I'm going to click yes. Now that the libraries will be redownloaded too. Do you want to update this version? And we'll say yes. So just make sure everything is up to date and running. And yeah. Let that go through its download there. And we'll see everything downloading on that bar there. And it should be going here. And there we go. So yeah, so it's, it's pretty simple. Just, just probably the target locations is the most difficult thing. Uh, change up the options, video settings, those are all good. Everything's good on that. I don't know if multiplayer is possible on this, um, but single player definitely is, and everything seems to be running pretty smooth. So I hope this helped you guys out for this. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks, you guys. Bye.